Hi, my name is Maarten Lochtenberg and I'm the CTO and co-founder of Seed Group. We build large format additive manufacturing machines and equipment. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about the things you need to consider about the purchase of a large format additive manufacturing machine. So, hang on with me. I'm going to try to explain the things you need to keep in mind in order to make a good decision. The large format additive manufacturing has several benefits. It's really important to understand your business case so we can highlight the benefit of this technology for your application. For instance, production speed. Uh, with our technology, you can achieve very high production rates. So this could be a game changer for your current process. Another important aspect that could be a game changer for your company is the time to market. If we produce, for instance, an autoclave tool or a hand layup tool, we can make it in a matter of hours or days instead of weeks. Furthermore, material availability. The machines can process from polypropylene up to peak, uh, allowing you to redesign your products with different material properties. Then one important aspect of large format additive manufacturing is design freedom. You can manufacture parts that you cannot make in an other way. So it could be that you, you are capable of designing entire new parts uh, which you couldn't make before. So keep that in mind in your selection. What is the reason? What is your business case? Why do you want to use large format additive manufacturing? So you are interested in 3D printing. Then you have some difficult choices to make. What kind of system do you need? First of all, we recommend pellet extruders because cost-wise, the base material is really a lot cheaper than, for instance, filament-based uh, machines. Seed supplies extruders. I have an entire video about what size extruder is suitable for which application. But with an extruder alone, you're not going to make it. Uh, there are ma two main categories in terms of machine design. We have the robotic systems, as you can see behind me, or we have gantry systems. Both have their uh, ups and downs. For instance, a robotic arm is a really flexible system. You have at least six axes. So what does it mean? Well, when you're printing with an extruder, the intake from the material needs to be upright at all times. So if you want to do multi-axis printing and you have a five-axis system, that would mean that the intake of the material can face the wrong direction. While with a six-axis robotic arm, you have the flexibility to always face it upwards, doing freeform printing with a robot. Furthermore, with a robot, you have the benefit of adding different technologies. For instance, CNC milling, if you want to finish the part. If you want to go to painting later on or sanding, then the robot gives you a lot of flexibility to add more technologies at a later stage. So why would you choose a gantry? Well, a gantry is a lot bigger, of course, so it takes up more space. But if you have that space, the gantry can have the benefit of increased accuracy. The gantry is more rigid uh, by nature. So if milling is going to be most of the, the work you're going to do, then a gantry might be beneficial compared to a robot. However, if printing is going to be the most of the work you're going to do, then we recommend a robotic system. Besides that, a gantry is quite a bit more expensive for the same printing area as a robotic system is. So budget-wise, return on investment, a robotic system could definitely be a better choice. So one of the decisions you need to make in your purchase and your quest for the right machine for your application is size. How big do you want to print? For instance, you can purchase a robotic arm with a certain reach. A lot of robots are standing fixed on one location and this will limit them in their reach. So if you want to print bigger, we can supply the robot on a track. You can see one over here. This one is four meters in length. But the biggest one we did so far was 40 meters in length. So you can imagine we can make any size you want, depending on your application and the part size you need. So having a machine like this installed takes some preparation. We can't just drop it on your floor and hope that everything is okay. For instance, the flooring. It needs to be level enough, but most of all, it needs to be strong enough. Our project engineers have a lot of experience with doing calculations in order to make sure that your floor can withstand the forces that come along uh, with the usage of this machine. If you're wondering whether your facilities are up to the task of having a robotic arm like this, in terms of electrical requirements, 
and in terms of space and flooring strength, don't hesitate to reach out. We have installed many machines worldwide, so we know what we are doing and we can give you advice on what is going to be needed to install an AM FlexPod. On your decision on a machine, you also need to decide on some software. The software that you have to deal with is the software in preparing your parts for 3D printing. There are several options. Uh, those are third-party software suppliers that we have very good relationships with. For instance, ADA1 uh, from Adexis, or the AI Build software, or the Siemens NX uh, software suite. All three softwares work perfectly fine with the AM FlexBot. For your application, it is good to do a little bit in a deep dive of which software is the most suited for you. Don't hesitate to reach out because we have experience with all of them and we can support you in your decision. When you're deciding to purchase a machine, the most important decision you need to make is what kind of materials you would like to process. Our machines use thermoplastics, the entire range from polypropylene up to the very high-end peak material. However, the extruder uh, needs to be capable of handling the, ma the material you require. Because some materials you can be processed at 200 degrees Celsius. However, high-end materials need to be processed up to 400 degrees Celsius. This means that the extruder needs to be capable of heating at that temperature. The benefit of additive manufacturing with thermoplastic materials is that we can also use composites. That means that the materials have, fi have a fiber content in them. This could be glass, it can be wood, it can be carbon fiber. Our machines are also capable of handling materials with fibers inside. This is important to note because the fibers are very abrasive. So everything from your transport system that feeds the material into your extruder up to the extruder itself needs to be able to withstand that abrasive property. When you have a certain application or when you need help, then we are there to help you. We have an application team within our, our company. And this application team is very experienced about material usage, about designing for additive manufacturing, and they can help you and give you tips and tricks to make sure that uh, the use of your machine is a success uh, as fast as possible.